Namaste. <clears throat> My name is Francois Gauthier. I'm a French journalist and writer. Some of you know me. I live in India and I've been writing in India for many newspapers and magazines like Indian Express or First Post now, Hindustan Times, in the whole Times. I've written many books also. My latest book in English is a new and entirely new history of India which is published by Garuda Books and rewrites the entire Indian history. Today I want to talk about the French riots. I'm a Frenchman and there are extremely violent riots that are happening at this very moment. Riots that look more like an insurrection, like a, you know, like a takeover of a country. Now there are three aspects to these riots and I want to dwell on these three aspects because Many people do not understand uh, the reason of this virus. The first, of course, is violence. Because of the death of a young uh, Muslim gentleman of 17 called uh, Nahe uh, in France uh, last Tuesday, uh, this, this boy uh, was known to the police. Uh, he used to drive cars without a license. And when the police asks to stop. Many times he refused to stop and sped away. He was also caught uh, not only smoking drugs but also peddling drugs. So the police knew him and he was known to steal cars and not to stop when asked. So he was asked to stop two times and the third time the police shot him. Now the French president chose to disown uh, his own police force and the particular police gentleman who shot this guy who died uh, was put into jail and is awaiting trial. Now after that uh, the entire France erupted. So the first aspect is that it is the Muslims of France who are writing. Writing and also <clears throat> you know stealing from shops, breaking shops, uh, burning cars, burning, burning tramways, burning public transport. It's an entire uh, revolt and insurrection. These are the Muslims of France. A few white Frenchmen might have joined them because they're extreme left or they're sympathetic to the cause. But mostly this is happen, happening with the Muslims of France. Not only the French Muslims, but the immigrants that France has accepted in the last two, three years. So the first aspect is this violence is the handwork of Muslim. The second aspect is that, of course, there is anger among these Muslims. You see these Muslim French today who have French nationality and are educated, uh, are the great great grandsons of cheap labor that France imported from uh, African countries, North African countries. And these labor, of course, were not paid well and were not treated well. When I was a kid, we used to call them Biko. Biko is a very you know, negative name for Arabs. And in those days, nobody thought it was wrong to call them Biko. So there was a, there was a disrespect and contempt for these people. Now, their great-great-grandson who are educated and are French have anger about that. And that anger, in a way, is justified. So in this anger, in this violence, there is anger. Now, this anger can be understood on the part of the French Muslims, but it cannot be accepted on the part of immigrants because the immigrants have been welcomed by France. They've been given social security. They've given stipends. They've given money. They're given housing. So they're biting the hands that are helping them. So my advice to the French president, if ever he listens to my video, is that these immigrants should be immediately kicked out and sent back to their own countries. Second aspect. The third aspect is karma. Of course, you're Indian or you're Buddhist or you're Hindu, you know about karma. The Dalai Lama explains very clearly that not only an individual has a karma, but a nation has a karma, a collective karma. He says for Tibet, for example, that there were feudalism for many, many centuries. The Rinpoche and the high priests, they exploited the simple Tibetan people and this exploitation led to a bad karma at the hands of the Chinese. As you know, the Chinese invaded Tibet in 1959. They're still holding Tibet. And the Dalai Lama and his followers 
had to flee and take refuge in India. So this is the karma of a nation. In the same way, France colonized ruthlessly and exploited North African countries, particularly Algeria, Tunisia, <clears throat> and other countries like that. And today they're paying for that karma in the same way that the, the white Americans uh, exploited slaves, the black slaves from Africa. And today, these black people, the great great grandson, are turning against the white Americans. And there is a justification. We have to accept that karma has to be lived. So France is also living that karma and paying for that karma. Now, it is said that the karma can be burnt when you suffer, and France is suffering at the moment. They're burning that karma. You know, eventually, that karma will be burnt out and wiped out, and that karma will be gone. So it's important when you look at the rights in France that you see these three aspects. The violence, which is inexcusable, it is unforgivable, especially on the part of immigrants, and the French government should clamp down, clamp down severely on this violence. Two, the fact that there's a spirit of vengeance in the great-great-grandsons of people who have been exploited by the French. And the third, that there's a karma being played, the karma of France having colonized and exploited ruthlessly and shamelessly this North African nation, and today France is paying for this karma. So let us look at all this from a holistic point of view, and then we get the correct picture. Namaste.